What's up guys and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, we are moving on to our next stranger mission here in St. Denis. And let's see... This is him? What's going on here, buddy? What's up with the rage? And what are you... Some sort of a mad scientist? What is this about? Got a crazy contraption okay, here. Buddy? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. Oh. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here. Help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall have the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. no. Looks like you shouldn't be allowed within a hundred feet of them. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betray and, and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. Okay. What's the toy about? It is not the toy, big nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Huh? A toy boat? Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Oh, good for you. Ah! Waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté! <laughs> uh, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watched them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. This ain't got nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. It is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? <laughs> yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. They can oh. the explosion if they touch the boat. Okay. They've got magnets, huh? If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And Dude, this is sick. Got one him. Down. One I'm more. Master of this. Show them one more proof. You Missed see it. what he does? Hold on. No wire like telegraph. No pony system. Yeah. All gone for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> This is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Pong, still avoiding magnetic mines. Or he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not okay. here for this smart talk. We're gonna try to get these little sailboats. Just got one. Be mine now. Look! The steam train. 
The telegraph machine. The motor car. Don't hit those they people. They seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. Just Got him. Race in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what thing to what the new girls says? <laughs> Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Ooh. Undeniably foolproof. This thing isn't but the most responsive thing in the world, but. And unlike fools, not fools and their money it. are difficultly parted. We should have shot that boat in the background. That would have been, would have been As funny. I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality. Sir, it is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Okay. Um, and I hope you will forgive Dover me. Dover Hill, huh? I don't think we've ever been up there. So the first section of this mission is now complete. Let's go. Hold on. I'm going to go get Arthur. Where you at, Arthur? What are you doing back in here, bud? Where is Dover Hill? I'm looking for a white dot. Hmm. We might have to go sleep. Sometimes you have to go sleep to have the next section of the, the challenge pop up. So we'll go sleep, waste some time, that sort of thing. I'll let you guys know once we find it. It's a beautiful night to go visit this creepy scientist man up in the woods. Are you kidding me right now, dude? This is his place. We are in as far northeast as you can go on the map. Like, this is where the, the tree people live. This is so creepy, dude. What is going on in here? It's a thunderstorm tonight, dude. dude what in the? W <laughs> I feel like things just took a really weird turn. I guess we can't go in that way. We're gonna have to go around back. Hello. What? You on there? that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you... Is he in that bag? ...on the floor. Professor, I ain't come to rob you. It's me. I helped you at the oh. pond. You did? Oh, you did. <laughs> in the buffoon. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost saw the biggest problem and you mess it up! I did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Well, well it, it is uh, the geometry of life. The grand theory of uh, power. It's the grand theory of theories, man. There is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Okay, but uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but <laughs> you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. He's gonna have me go out and do the dangerous stuff. Like set up metal in a lightning storm. The detector in your hand. The filament flashes 
This is the... One of the weirdest things. Alright. Okay, we've got another one going on over here. Up here somewhere. I hear some wolves howling. I feel like this is really dangerous for us to be running around in this with metal rods. That sure makes me feel good. We're running towards the wolves too. One more conductor. And one to go. And you're not dead. <laughs> Looks like the Woo! We're good. We're okay. The next one's up this way. More towards where these wolves are howling at. one right here. I'm trying not to get eaten by wolves. There they are over there. That's honestly kind of beautiful. Let me get my binox out. Just chilling. Howling. Didn't actually look like they were howling, but you can hear them. There's two wolves enjoying the, the thunderstorm, I guess. I love storms, man. Alright, let's get back inside before we get fried, John. That'd be nice. Have no idea what we're placing these out here for. Risking our life. school and had a clue of what was going on. What now? Well, now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this! Is that Frankenstein? Is it something? Ah! Oh. Uh, the switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. You're you're for real? You're for real right now. You want me to climb up this thing in a storm? Let me get up there. Here we go. What have I got myself into? Bro, what in the world? <laughs> this is Red Dead Redemption 2, right? Like, we didn't get switched to a different game. This is... Obviously, this is gonna. What goddamn oh, I, are these I things see. to pull? I am an invisible web engineer, not an electrical technician. Okay? You better hope I ain't fried up here. 
There it is. Are you sure I should come down? I'm not trying to get fried. Hold on, get down, get down, John. Let's go, let's go, let's get out of here. Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, huh? Second time? <laughs> More like 7,000th. This is my life's work. It is incredible. What the f- it's a what? robot? Creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. <laughs> I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yeah, I think it's time yes. to go. This dude's a, yes. a loon. Goodbye. I feel like I can't see a situation where this is gonna gonna end well. You know what I mean? I don't really see a situation where this is gonna end up well. I mean, y'all y'all know about Frankenstein. We know about robots and AI and the takeover and everything. We've seen the Terminator, so. I don't know. All right, guys, well, I have no clue what's going on. We've sat here outside of the campfire and slept like seven times I I mean and you can only sleep you can only sleep twice in a row and then it'll make you kind of like wait like five or ten minutes to reset then you can sleep two more times I I don't see there's literally nothing showing up on the map we, we have no no white option there's one that's sometimes showing up down here but it's not for him it's for a different mission there is no thing that he's given me for the next mission and usually it's just kind of like a time-based thing like you wait 24 hours or so and it it ends up uh, fixing itself. Yes. What? <gasps> Where's your creation now? Oh my god! It killed him! We got the electric lantern. Dude! It's got blood over here. Did it go this way? Can we track it? Dude, what the heck? There's like no signs outside. Wait, is this thing? Hold on, let me look at this again. Is this changing? This might be changing colors. It's yellow over here. It goes to dark orange, re red. And back to normal, hold on. So I'm gonna go to where it's the darkest red. Let's open up our map. It's telling us to go straight this way. So like, how far should we go? We need to go to like, it's pointing straight that way in that line. So if we're ever looking at the dot, that's where it's gonna be going. We need to go to like Valentine and get in the middle of the map so we can know if it's talking about like, he could be here, he could be here, he could be all the way up here. So let's, um, let's go back. We're gonna go back to Ansberg since that's the closest fast travel point. We're gonna go to Valentine and that should give us a direct shot which direction to go. And then once we have that, we'll just ride that line 
straight to wherever he is. All right, guys, so we made it here to uh, Valentine. Good old Valentine. Let's go ahead and get this thing back out. We'll go back into first person. And it it looks like we're still kind of headed this way. I would say, I would say right there is about as red as it gets. So we'll look at where we're facing. And it's going... Hmm... So we know it was kind of, we were over here, it was a straight line like this. If we can find the spot where these two intersect, that's going to be the spot that we need to go. So it's, it's going to be somewhere up here, up, up in this area, for sure. All right, well, looks like we're going to be going back into uh, snowy territory, boys. Back where the game started, back where we went and found that white Arabian horse. Got a bit of a ride in front of us up into the mountains, but uh, we're gonna follow this thing all the way and uh, we'll see why this robot's going up here. I would have thought he would go to like a town and start destroying everything and killing people and stuff, but it looks like he's, he's going up into the wilderness. Home sweet home, baby. We are coming into the town of Coulter, which is uh, the name of the very first chapter of this game. This is where it all started, was up here when we were on the run. So, well, we gotta figure out where where this is coming from. You guys can see we're up in the very northeastern part. It's gonna be somewhere in here. Not sure, we gotta take a look at our, take a look at our thing. I can't really, I can't really see it when we're on the horse. He doesn't hold it out in front enough. Looks like we're going this way, up this mountain. All right. I wish there was a way you could see it while you're riding. Is there a way to get up? So we're, we're going like straight this way. This is, this is gonna be weird. Things are gonna get weird here, boys. Hopefully the horse survives. That's really cold water, dude. You may be nervous. Hey, boy. He lost some health there, but he's all right. Okay, so we're just gonna go little by little. See if we can. Okay, we're gonna have to go to around to the outsides. So if you read the the topography here, if we go up around this way, okay. Now that we're absolutely covered in snow and freezing, oh gosh, dude. I don't even think there's anything in Coulter that we can use to like warm up. Come on, boy. Come on. You got this. We're okay. It melted off. We're doing better now. Yeah, up this way. This should be easier to go up. Watch the horse's stamina. Let's just get up to the top and then we'll we'll see where we go from there. Dude, this is kind of ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. know what we're looking for. What is this? Oh, those are just rocks. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Go back into first person mode. Okay, so we passed it. It's gonna be out on this, this cliff, I think. Come on, bud. We've got, like, signposts and stuff out here. Is that it? <gasps> hold on a second. I see him, I think. I saw, unless it was like a tree stump. I think that's him. Hold on, stay here, horse. I don't want you to get hurt. Give me a gun. Just in case. He's right there. What is this? What are you doing? He's calling for Papa? You killed your Papa! <laughs> he just died! Oh my gosh! Dude, 
Dude, that's so sad. He was short-circuiting anyway. He was up here basically dying on his own. We put him out of his misery. He killed his father and then he came up here because he was looking for him. Oh my goodness, dude. That is heartbreaking. But that's honestly a pretty cool little Easter egg. Who else would ever find this up here? You know what I mean? That is absolutely crazy. But quite a tragic story, I'm not going to lie. I feel kind of bad about taking him out. But uh, I think he deserved it after everything he did. And, uh, you know, killing, killing his career. There, so. there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We are going to go back down to uh, civilization. My goodness, dude. We have such a long ride ahead of us. This is ridiculous. But uh, we, uh, we made it happen, boys. Crazy AI Frankenstein stuff happening, but uh, this was this is a pretty cool, a pretty cool episode. I like this. I like this mission. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see some more of these Stranger episodes here in Red Dead Redemption 2, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.